What's the one thing you didn't expect about living in Bali? Believe it or not, catching a tan on the toilet, it's not the only thing we didn't expect. It ended up taking us six hours of scooter trips and 198 kilometers later before we actually found a house to rent. Between agents wasting our time and houses almost falling apart, this was not a simple process. Honestly, we didn't expect it to be so difficult to find a house here in Bali. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. In order for you to better understand how this experience really was, you gotta understand that here in Bali, when you're looking for a house, you pretty much have to rely on Facebook groups. So I'll leave it to your imagination as to just how enjoyable this experience must have been. You see? These agents are so annoying. Today we are going for more viewings. If you've been following us on Instagram, then you know that we've been on a few viewings already. Monia's dreams were crushed. <laughs> and the problem started when we decided to listen to the trends rather than follow our guts. Before we got to Bali, we had heard that if you were planning on moving to Bali, then Changu was the place to be. And if you don't know, Changu is this little area that's nestled amongst the rice fields. It's on the beach. It has amazing cafes. It's pretty much a hub for digital nomads. On paper, it sounds amazing. And so naturally, we head straight there. And at first, we were just so excited to finally be in Bali that we didn't stop for a second and evaluate whether this was really how we saw our lives here. There was so much traffic and it was just way busier than we had envisioned our new life. Nuh -uh. Nevertheless, we spent the first two weeks doing viewing after viewing in a mad rush to find a new house and to stop living out of bags and expensive Airbnb. What's going on? Hello. Hello. Uh, we, the other house that we just looked at, we really didn't like. And so there's one just around the corner. He's brought us here to have a look at it. Let's see. We didn't get that feeling. You know that feeling Can when you I walk into the house? Can I get that feeling? <laughs> get that feeling. Yeah. And after days of disappointment, we finally stumbled upon the dream villa. Just sitting in in this villa, which seems to be our future house. It's beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. We were going full steam ahead. This was the villa until it actually came time to put in an offer and sign the contracts. And all of a sudden, this villa was no longer available for long-term rent. Facebook agent strikes again. Okay. We've just woken up. It's about 10 a.m. in the morning. We're going for a viewing. It's in Seminyak. Uh, we're really hoping that this is a house that we can pick because we're a bit tired of all of the back and forth that these agents give you. Firstly, the house is available, then it's not available then it's not available for long-term stay, then it is available, then the price changes, then they can't view at your time, so. Why had no one ever said how difficult it was to find a house here in Bali? Here we go, as expected, this one's not available for long-term rent. So we just drove 30 minutes here for nothing. Thanks. In desperate need of some quality time, we decided to take our foot off the gas a little bit and just to stop chasing, we decided to take a little drive and go on a road trip about an hour north to a little town called Uluwatu. And Uluwatu is insane. The beaches are just magnificent. And it's what I thought was the place that people only really came when they were on vacation. Naturally, we absolutely fell in love with Uluwatu. But we didn't want to get our hopes up because we were so certain that there was no way that these houses would be within our budget. We searched the Facebook groups anyway. And we found one or two agents who said they could help. But with our experience now with these Facebook agents, 
we were clear and precise about our requirements. They ended up sending us a few photos and they seemed to be within our budget. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, but we asked for one year. We need one year. I mean, if a good price, we can offer one year as well. So there's no guarantees that this is one year. You need to make sure it's one year. Yes. We viewed about four houses that day and eventually after the last viewing of the day still didn't go as planned. The agent in pure desperation said that he had one more house but it wasn't available right now. Guys we're so bummed. The villa was a little bit outdated. A lot of broken cupboards, a lot of moldy ceilings, a lot of work. It just looked like if it looks like that now, we can only imagine the issues that we're going to face throughout the year. So, ah, it's back to the drawing board. We have another villa that the agent from this morning has offered us. So we're going to take a drive there, 15 minutes. It's a four bedroom. To be honest, the photos looked about the same in the fact that uh, it looked a little bit dirty, but looks like we're going to have to deal with this. So no, let's really hope that this is the one. So far, so good. It's beautiful. Look at that. I really like this. I get a good feel right now. Um, but, you know, this is something we both have to really like it. It's the first house that we're choosing together. Um, and we're also not sure about some of the problems that might come up. You know, is it is it common for houses to leak? Uh, our owners quite open to really helping out with service throughout the year. A lot of things we've got to think about. With my experience working as a real estate agent in Dubai, I knew that absolutely everything was negotiable. So we put in a really cheeky offer and through all the ups and downs and the disappointment along the way, we ended up getting a four bedroom villa with cleaning service, garden service and Wi-Fi, all for less than we were going to get a three bedroom villa in Changu. This is the beach that's closest to our new house. Can you even handle it? Our spirit guides were clearly looking out for us on this day. And although it was tough at times to trust the process, it just goes to show that sometimes when things aren't going your way in life, that it's just something pushing you in the right direction. This is gonna be the first time I get in the ocean in Bali because we've been so busy driving around, doing viewings, working in the day. This and is the second ocean of the Brazilian one. <laughs> so good. If you're interested in the actual costs of living here in Bali and particularly the costs of this villa, then let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll make an entirely separate video dedicated to just those facts for you. And as always guys, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. We're going full steam ahead to that 1000 subscribers and we would love it if you could all be a part of it.